Welcome back to Crawford Farms Entertainment. Everyone, it's your host, embarking on another thrilling escapade. So Christmas was an absolute blast, but let me tell you, the aftermath, not quite as enjoyable. You see, Android 18 was rather upset with me. Why, you wonder? Well, it turns out she discovered my little snooping adventure with her phone. Definitely not my finest hour. This whole situation became a classic case of the pot calling the kettle black. Next thing I knew, Android 18 had this wild notion that I might be the one cheating. Quite the plot twist, wouldn't you agree? Her suspicions running high, she decided to conduct an investigation and believe me, her choice of target for her jealousy was nothing short of bizarre, none other than Sailor Moon. She stumbled upon a text message on my phone from Bulma regarding some secret project. To anyone else, it might seem like some typical Capsule Corp business, but to 18, it practically screamed, Krillin's got a side chick. If Krillin did cheat, he knows that 18 would kill him. She would find a way to give him a nose just to have one to break. And naturally, the secret project was merely me planning a surprise vacation for us. Try explaining that to a highly agitated android. So here we were, a few days post Christmas, and I'm doing everything in my power to make amends with Android 18. I'm talking flowers, chocolates, the whole shebang. However, she's having none of it. Instead, she's wearing this intense expression on her face, like she's about to go Super Saiyan or something. I mean, what did he expect? First, he went through my phone, and then all of a sudden, I have evidence that he is messing around with some moon princess chick. Of course, I was upset. And she keeps muttering something about that moon girl and sparkly tiaras. Now, I'm utterly perplexed, but before I can even inquire about the situation, Android 18 bolts out the door faster than I can say Kamehameha. So of course I follow her. I absolutely had to witness this showdown for myself. 18 tracks down Sailor Moon who's just chilling, probably saving the world or engaging in some magical girl business. Without missing a beat, 18 starts accusing her of trying to steal her man. I'm standing there attempting not to face palm too hard. Sailor Moon, bless her heart, is completely bewildered. She's like, who the heck are you? And why would I want to steal your bald dude? He doesn't even have a nose. So, me and Tuxedo Mask were just chilling, talking about like magic and stuff. And all of a sudden this old lady comes up to me, talking about why are you trying to talk to my man? And I'm here with Tuxedo Mask and I'm like, I don't want your bald guy. Doesn't even have a nose, for goodness sake. But she challenges me to this duel, saying that, hey, if I beat you in this duel, then you gotta leave my man alone. Not like I want your man anyway, old lady. But I go ahead because I'm no scaredy cat. I'm the princess of the freaking moon. So I go ahead and I challenge her to a fight. Like, what do you mean? Why am I wearing a tuxedo? I'm tuxedo mask. Anyway, I, I think you're trying to be funny, dude. Can, can we just do the interview? So I'm just talking to my girl Sailor Moon, and this old chick comes up, and I'm looking at her, and she's kind of hot, but, you know, not really my thing. I'm not into older women. But she comes up trying to accuse my girl of trying to talk to her man, and then I look at her man, and I'm like, really? You think she would choose that guy over me? It's ridiculous. Things are on the verge of getting rather ugly. But then Tuxedo Mask intervenes, attempting to play the role of Peacemaker. Yeah, at first I was playing Peacemaker, but then eventually I thought about it and I'm like, Hey, this lady just interrupted our date. Go ahead and kick her <laughs> Hey, why did you beat me? I didn't even curse. All I said was <laughs> I did not say I, I'm, oh my, you guys are dropping me nuts. However, 18, she's in full blown battle mode. She challenges Sailor Moon to a duel with the condition that if 18 emerges victorious, Sailor Moon must back off. Not that she was ever pursuing in the first place. Sailor Moon, being the hero she is, accepts the challenge, hoping to clear up the misunderstanding. Now, on to the main event, the battle. Before diving into the specifics, let's talk about the powers. Android 18, my beloved wife, is no ordinary individual. She's an android 
Equipped with superhuman strength, boundless stamina, and energy blasts capable of leveling cities. She's tough, speedy, and did I mention she doesn't age? Quite the advantage on her part. Oh, yeah, did I mention I lucked out? No way I would be cheating. On the flip side, there's Sailor Moon, the guardian of love and justice. She possesses a magical brooch that transforms her into a magical warrior. Reminds me of Ribrianne from the Tournament of Power, but whatevs, we're talking about Moon Tierra magic, healing, escalation, and some serious moon themed attacks. Additionally, she has the backing of the Moon Kingdom and her trusty comrades, the Sailor Scouts. <laughs> yeah, they're really called the Sailor Scouts. The battle, right? Nothing short of epic. Sailor Moon 18 charges forward, launching a barrage of energy blasts. Sailor Moon gracefully dodges them all, moving with the grace of a ballet dancer. She retaliates with her Moon Tierra Boomerang, a radiant disc of light that hurtles towards 18. However, 18 is no novice, she's no noob, she effortlessly swats it away, wearing a smug smirk. Sailor Moon decides to raise the stakes. She starts chanting, and this was kind of creepy, right? Causing her brooch to emit this brighter glow. This is her moon healing escalation, an energy wave with the power to heal or obliterate depending on the target. 18's eyes widen as she's never encountered anything quite like this. She leaps into the air, narrowly avoiding the wave and lands with a resounding thud. Now it's a game of cat and mouse. 18 employs her speed darting around Sailor Moon delivering rapid punches that Sailor Moon nearly evades. However, Sailor Moon is not just a healer, she's a formidable fighter as well. She manages to catch 18's fist, surprising her, then uses her moon stick, she's got a moon stick, to channel a burst of energy that sends 18 flying. Now she's ticked. The battle is intense, but it becomes evident that neither one of them is really trying to inflict any serious harm on the other one. It's more of a clash of pride and misunderstanding. As they cautiously circle one another, determined yet cautious, I realize how much they share in common. They're both strong, fearless, and have an undeniable sense of justice. Just as they're about to engage in another round, 18 realized that she had actually landed one of her punches and managed to injure Sailor Moon. Now Sailor Moon's a lot younger, I mean a lot, Don't, I'm hoping she's not listening to this, but she's a whole lot younger. That's when the battle got real. It concluded with the physical part and then the internal battle began. 18's expression softened and Sailor Moon, ever the empathetic one, sensed the change. 18 apologized and then the two hugged it out. They engaged in this heartfelt conversation bearing their hearts to each other. 18 admits her fear of losing me in a rare moment of vulnerability. Sailor Moon displaying wisdom beyond her years because this is like a kid, maybe 18 at the oldest, speaks of trust, love, and the importance of open communication. It's a touching moment that will forever stay with me. I mean, where was she when I needed that talk? I step in and 18 and I have a deep heart to heart with the moon and stars as our witnesses. We laugh at the absurdity of it all, and I make a promise never to snoop again. In return, she pledges to trust me more. In the background, Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask, they cheer, kind of cheesy, but this is, I mean, this really happened, I kid you not, content that their mission was accomplished. Did this little weird chick plan this all along? So, yeah, I totally did plan the thing all along. Now this is the weird thing though, so once it's all over with, my mom comes in and says, Hey, you know what, um, I'm not your real mom. And then it turns out that this lady that, uh, is sitting up here trying to fight me over this ball guy might actually be my real mom. This, this day could not get any weirder. Is my mom a freaking robot? 